Okay, welcome everyone. Good morning. Let's will start our lesson four. Today lesson will go through our LO4. As you know me, my name is Anjum Sata. Please, if you have any question, drop me email anjum at ukbc.co.uk. So I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. If you have any other question, you can't access the resources, please you know, drop email admin at ukbc. Dot co dot uk we'll try our best to get back to you as soon as possible so let's we'll do a bit, a bit recap during our previous lesson we discussed about portal generic strategies uh, cost leadership cost focus a differentiation and differentiation focus we had a discussion about value chain model by michael porter we had a discussion about resource based view we discuss about unsubmetric market penetration, market diversification, product development, and uh, market development. We had a discussion about Porter Five Forces, uh, bargaining power of supplier, customer, competitive rivalry in the industry. These are the five forces we had a discussion in the previous lesson. We discuss about SWOT, set trends, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat. We had a discussion about best political, economic, social, and technological factors is very important when you're making the strategic plan, long-term planning. And we had a discussion about uh, VRIO model as well, Michael Porter. And these all we learned in the previous lesson. Today lesson will focus our LO4. So let's please, we'll start, you know, anybody, any question, those are listening to this recording, please, you can drop me email and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So let's, we'll start. I'll share with you the slide in a minute and then we'll start. Okay. So welcome. So today lesson, guys, we'll go through, be able to develop and implement the strategic operational chain management and change is very important. Like think about, you know, the Nokia didn't change according to the environment, not sustained. British home store, BHS is not sustained, is not, uh, not chain themselves, is not sustained in a business. So for the sustaining, one of the great scholars said, either you're 80 or 20 year old, so you stop learning, you become older. So we need to be chained accordingly. Okay, let's please, we'll start. Today lesson indicative content, Carrying out the force field model. So we will go through the Levin's force field model, which is quite popular in academia. We there are the some forces are the driving forces for chain and some forces are the restraint forces for the chain. Those become a hurdle for chain, they're not allowing you to chain. Using the various chain models, so chain management model, we look around the identification selection we use of in order to implement, you know, any chain in uh, in, an, in an organization, we'll go through three three step model of chain. Where other model is quite popular, it's McKenzie seven S approach. You know, you have to think about strategy, you have to think about structure, you have to think about system. So we'll go through all seven S. Quarter eight step model is very popular for the chain purposes, which we'll discuss. Acquire the leadership and the chain agent skill. What skills required to be chained? You know, implement. So force field model when making difficult challenges, decision it pay, you know, to use the effective structure of the decision making technique and improve the quality. So quality is very important. You have to think about the chances of the success. So we have the Levin's uh, force field model. There are the driving forces for the chain and the restraint forces. So please, it's good to be, can we watch two minutes video? So... And normally we don't record those videos links, so please you can click that, you can watch it force field model and I'm pausing this video. Hope you watch it. Thanks for so let's we'll start. So the tool is useful the making the decision so we can describe your plan, the proposal for the chain, we can identify the forces. For the chain, we can identify that gain the forces for the chain. Those are like the policy, the procedures, the staff motivation, the hurdle, the union maybe is. So these are all, you know, so as we can assign the score and analyze and apply the chain. So we can look around total score and total restraint or total in the favor of the chain. So then we can implement the chain, you know, so those factors can be discussed. So we have 4.1. 
apply the four seal model. So four seal model is widely used in the management and help you know understand the most most chain process in the organization. In the four seal model of the chain, it's the character side by stated imbalance between the driving forces, personnel, the chaining market, restraint forces. We can look around the fear of the failures of the organization inertia to achieve the change you know we need to be make sure first the organization unfreeze so the situation we are in we have to unfreeze like a ice cube if you take out from the fridge first up you have to unfreeze the chain into the water and you can put it back you know and then it become a ice again so that is uh, so you have to look around Second, imbalance the introduce the forces in uh, enable the chain to take place. That is very crucial in the organization, reducing and the restraint both. And the third, the chain is complete force to brought back into the equilibrium and refreeze. So force is a three-step model of uh, living is very important. Unfreeze, chain, and refreeze. Then we've been given the comments is various other authors explain there are the always looking the constraint and the driving forces of the chain to bring the chain in the organization today and we can look around what will be happening tomorrow and we can look around the, the problem and when we implementing the chain the power of the stakeholders the policies and procedures are the restraint forces so we have to look around forces model potentially powerful technique help in organization to rely on the manufacturing wheel so we can look around the uh, buying a car so driver sales now low finance rate old car repair cost and the status symbol so these are the driving forces and the restraint higher payment want boat instead a wife will want one two our old car not paid off the job not too secure and the kids in college so these are the restraint forces these are the driving forces so the the model of change we can look around and that's ultimately help you know to break and then we have a 4.2 is the critically evaluate the various chain management model in the light of so we have three step model of living so we have eight step model of uh, quarter and we can look around uh, 7x approach here so we had a lot of discussion on these uh, please it's a good good video when you click that's you know we'll watch okay thanks for watching and that's you know give you good understanding about the basic the living's uh, chain model which is one of the cornstone of the model is in 1940 and on but it's is unfreeze chain and refreeze as we mentioned refer three-step model and that's you know the first thing you have to unfreeze the situation we are in we have to understand the needs of the chain you have to understand the culture of the organization maybe people are not willing to change you have to give them uh, clear facts and figures you have to give the examples why because those organizations like think about national minimum wage is significant increase in the uk the cost is going up we have moving moving towards using more you know the technology so we have to unfree that situation between so one of the great scholars said either you're 80 or 20 if you stop learning you become older so you have to change you know because that's the mindset of the people they don't want to change they want to live like you know so we have to change according to the environment the change is, is communicate often we can look around and then freeze you know so we can look around after like i gave you the example of iq earlier and that can be used you know okay then the chain management which is we can look around that developed by the chain model unfreeze chain and refreeze they represent you know very simple and practical model this is very useful we can look around the behavior of the people. We can look towards moving towards the right direction. Is the continuous chain? It's not instant chain because you have to think about involve the stakeholders. What is meant by stakeholders? Anyone who has any interest in the business because they like union. You have to involve them in the business. You can say why we need to be changed. Collect the facts and figures. Collect the figures about the competitors in the industry. Those organizations not change, they not sustain in the business. So for the sustainability point of view, it's a crucial we should change and we should 
contain a stay in the disk. Any question? Yes, yes. Okay, so please, we need to be looking on unfreeze, chain, and refreeze. <clears throat> so unfreezing. Before the chain can be implemented, it must you know undergo the initial step of unfreeze because the people are naturally resist to chain, and the during the unfreeze stage, you know, create the awareness of the status quo, then the current level of us and the old behavior, the way of thinking, the behavior of the people change because you know the people are the vipers or the culturally they don't want to change it. They have a fear of the losing the job, you know, and that's you know they not want to learn anything new. So we have to think about entry the stage so the employees can become informed about the immense chain and we can look around the logic behind and we can look around the benefit of the chain. So we can look around the chaining, know the people are unfrozen and they can begin to move to the new world and new chain or accepting the new things. So chaining steps, you know, refer to the transitional and moving towards and mark, you know, by implement the chain. So we have to look around the chain, become a real and consequent, you know, the chain, the time and the people is struggle, the new reality. With the passage of time, they carry on accepting. And then of course, you know, we move to the chain phase and then we can freezing. Freezing is the stage, you know, which we can look around, refer to the defreezing and symbolizing the right. So we can stabilizing, we can look around the chances, chain made organization processes, the structure, and the people are accepting and they become a naturally the everyday task, you know, the cultures, uh, the positive reward of the chain, they can understand. So we can think about the example of the uh, Nissan uh, bankruptcy due to the issues of the high debt. Uh, the chain is happening, the automated faced, you know, with the challenges of the implementing radical chain. We can inevitable, you know, such as the circumstances forming the cross-functional team, recommend the reverse plan, forcing the challenges to develop the chain management strategies, and uh, we can unfreeze chain and refreeze, you know, the behaviors of the people, and ultimately, Nissan came out that situation and uh, gaining, gaining, you know, the market shares again. So quarter A step model is very popular. Uh, quarter said we have to follow three: uh, increase the urgency of the chain, build the guiding teams, develop the V in the chain, communicate by empowered in action, create the short term win, and don't let up. You know, down and make the chain stick and stick with the chain. That's you know the step we we have to follow. Identify the highlight you know the potential threats of the uh questions which you know the crap up in the future examine the opportunity that bring uh, initiate you know honest dialogue on the chain with the people and improve, <clears throat> forming the power of the guidance so you have to look around identify the effective chain and make the chain leaders and the stakeholders involve them and form the powers to the chain and correlation well, for me and, and the strategy for the chain, determine the core value, ensure the chain leader can describe the VNs effectively and communication and communication the VN. That's, you know, uh, communicate with the various stakeholders. That's, you know, bring the chain. We have to look around, handle the any concern and issue, removing the obstacle those people face, you know, during the chain process, continues check the people, barriers, maybe communication are not interpreting into the commercial world. So by creating a short term win earlier in the chain process can feel, you know, the victory, create a short story and the targets and reward contribution to the people, give them achieving the continuous improvement by analyzing the success story, anchoring the chain in the corporate culture, discuss the successful story related to the chain, ensure the chain become, you know, integral part of the organization culture, ensure the support existing the company's leader as well as the new leaders. And we can look around quarters model is quite, you know, it is an easy step-by-step -step model and it provides a clear descriptions of the chain, emphasis on the involvement, acceptable of employees and the merger emphasis. 
but some people have a raise like you know any any model have some advantages and disadvantages the process is quite time consuming you have to this is top down approach and discourage you know, the scope of participation and can build you know frustration between employees can then we been given the mckenzie 7s in the in america gave this 7s approach and we can look around hard elements and the soft elements which is structures systems those are hard elements to chain you know identify define and can be directly influenced by the management and the soft you know the shade the uh, style skills and staff and the system these you know we can think about how we can chain that you know can bring the chain this framework is successful execute the new strategy analyze the different key parts of so we can focus on the structure the system the style the staff the skill strategy then the shared vision to help you know the chain the management and implement change is very crucial so seven l strategy is very important strategy mean the action plan look around the external factor the effective strategy will help you know to avail the opportunity and bring the competitive advantage you look around the structure of the organization and look around centralize that decentralize organization chain look around the system the primary and the secondary activity as the michael porter mentioned like inbound outbound marketing sales you know and the skill what skills are required human so you uh, upskill them look around intangible tangible staffing staff is very important of course play the people are the most important asset that is the soft and giving priority to and uh, empower them and style you know they need to be changed according to the behaviors of the people and according to the situation shade be in the sense of you know the organization culture represent the standard and the norm the attitude towards we are the company and giving them shades into making them as a partner in the company Uh, of course seven s approach is widely used help the process and the system and analyze an element and building the relation but it's required organization to do a lot of research benchmarking is focus on the internal element while paying the attention to external element is required senior management commitment as well as the low level apply the team is a small start which we can look around offer service online the company strategy to grow the market say in, in line with the seven s approach the company is small and there is a need to be uh, complex you know metric structure and then we can look around the strategy market penetration structure is simple the system is formal system the skill few specialized people required staff few employees needed to be for the organization the style more democratic uh, we need shared vision and shared value and ultimately we can bring you know the situation in line so these are the example the startup has grown become a larger business 500 employees plus you know the 50% of the market share and the structure need to be changed oiled by the bureaucratic machines and we can look around the wonder the staff introduce the new motivation and the control system and the we and the shared value in line with the company what problem we have no new strategy no longer viable we have to look around the larger market shared domestic market and geographical and the management style need to be applied so market penetration structure can be bureaucratic order processing maybe controls in the customer support personnel the skill related to the service offering and the staff many implies and have to be you know motivation and style so we can look around current situation the company rely they need to be expand their regional and its current strategies they look around the strategies and the system and the skills what required the regional structures is been now they can look around the market development strategy no bureaucratic structure required system order processing and control system strategic planning required and the skill required in line with the company the mission the staff in employees form many cultures so who expect you know the different motivation and reward no it's not there the democratic style yes and the shared vision so that's you know which we need to be look at then 4.3 guys identify the leadership and the chain agent are the skills which is required Lead, leadership is the chain agent skill is required the implement strategic chain we can look around pointed out 
the leaders say the initiative at the chain leader plays leader has the power to influence on others leader need the industrial we can think about the task of the hierarchical organization structure and skill being identified attitude towards the chain that's it very important in 21st century to achieve the key objective of the organization to avail the opportunity the business knowledge must you know the current business environment the we and the opportunity that's create you know we can able to visualize for the future organization and difficult argue the case of the chain leadership skill skill is very important and what sort of the skill uh, we need such as the ability to motivate people we need strategic vision we need to be trained in the management process or the management style leadership style and training and the research and the consult is a crucial that you know bring to change in the organization then please we been given the reference and the sources guys if you want to please enhance your so just say change management and next to that if you write the word kaplan kaplan is the publisher and you can find the chapter of the book what is the classification of the chain the culture the levens model and the various other model quarters so the cultures and the seven s approaches and so please that's quite good resource to use extra if you look at the strategic development and managing the chain chain is of course is very very crucial with the passage of time and you've been given a lot of examples of chain why need to be Yes, and four wheel model, three step model, quarter seven step model. So these are all important, and it's good to be enhance your understanding. Type the uh, type the chain management Kaplan, and you will find the knowledge based bank. So why businesses need to be chained, and yes, enterprise resource management system and various other system can be, other technology can be embedded. Okay, guys. Today was the key focus our chain management, and we went through the different model of chain, and we discussed Levin's three step. We discussed Levin's four step model. We mentioned in the seven S approach, and we discussed about you know quarter seven step model, and we had a discussion about how we can contextualize. And I mentioned you the resources. You mentioned chain management, Kaplan. You can find the knowledge bank of the Kaplan resource, and that can be used to enhance your understanding. And a lot of examples you've been given in the slide. It's good to go through and watch the video. If any question, any you have, you know, please drop me email and you're at university. co. uk. Before next lesson, please, if you look, you know, the R L O five and the indicative content, what we're supposed to. And if you have any question, drop me email and have a nice time. And I'll speak to you during our next lesson. Thank you. Bye bye.